So blue green algae is an issue in Southwest Florida, but we aren't alone. It's actually a global problem. All you need is some fresh water and nutrients to create a colorful but disgusting cocktail. Today, some of scientists, uh, science's greatest minds gather to brainstorm. And environmental reporter Liz Barro joins us here now. And Liz, this is one of the oldest organisms on Earth, but there is still so much that we don't know about it. Yeah, Nicole, and one of the biggest questions scientists are working to nail down is what algae type makes what toxin? Take a look at the various algae blooms we've seen this summer, and you'll notice they're different. In cyanobacteria's 1.9 billion years on Earth, it's developed a variety of adaptations, abilities, and characteristics that allow it to thrive. Right now, on our HAB advisory page on our website, we show there are more than 350 HAB-related recreational advisories across the U.S. And we know that this is an underestimate. Deborah Nagel, director in the Environmental Protection Agency's Office of Water, spoke at the agency's Blue-Green Algae Symposium. She says harmful algal blooms are a growing problem. The Center for Disease Control issued their 2021 HAB illness report, noting that there are 16 states reported a total of 117 human illnesses and over 2,700 animal illnesses. Take a look at FGCU Dr. Barry Rosen's wall of water samples. You can tell this guy knows algae, but even the best algae brains still have questions. What's one thing on the top of your list of something we're really trying to figure out? Who is making what toxin? It's as simple as that because when you get a water sample, it can have more than one species in it, more than one um, population in it. Not every cyanobacteria produces toxins but those that do can do a lot. Everything from gastroenteritis to full-blown toxicity um, where it could harm a human being. Kidney functions, liver functions, um, neurotoxins, um, skin toxins. Making it that much more important that the science community works together. I'm hoping to teach even the most educated person on it with something new. Things Rosen shared was on organisms that can fix their own nitrogen, essentially creating its own food to feed itself, like this rare algae that was found in the Rubicon Canal this summer. It's from Brazil and can produce a very potent toxin and miraculously appeared here. Now, there are three days left in the EPA's virtual cyanosymposium. It is open to the public, and to register, you can go to winknews.com.